In our previous section, we have successfully installed the .NET SDK as well as the Visual Studio Code ID to create our C Sharp program. Now, first of all, let's create our simplest Hello World application with Visual Studio Code. So as we have installed the .NET SDK and we are using Visual Studio Code, we are not using any Visual Studio as in framework to write your program. So what we can do is we can write the or we can create an application with the help of .NET command line, which is a .NET CLI. So to run that, you need to install the .NET CLI. You can simply search again the .NET CLI download. Once you have the .NET CLI, you can simply uh, check the version of the CLI by running the .NET version command. And that's the .NET version I'm using it right now, which is the latest version. Now, if you want to create a new console application, then you can use the .NET new command. And then after that, as I'm willing to use a or create a .NET console application, so I can give you a, a give an option as in .NET console dotnet new console that will create a new console application under this folder where I, I am right now i have opened this terminal so let's open and create a new dotnet console type application with shisha now by default this dotnet cli is running with a c sharp option so that's why i do not need to give any language option whereas when you use the visual studio enterprise or community or professional version then and from the menu panel when you create a new project or new application from there you can you have an option to basically select a language type such as vb f sharp c sharp and then based on dot those language further you can go and select from the c sharp option do you want to create a console application web application or or things like that but as I'm directly using a command line tool with .NET, so by default it is set up with the C Sharp programming language. So I do not have to specify create .NET new console with C Sharp or VB or anything like that. So by default it is set to C Sharp and it will create application program with C Sharp. Now if as you have seen that this has created the console application with name as in c sharp the reason it has given the name as in c sharp because it has taken the name from my folder name so my the name of my folder was c sharp that's why the project name was created with c sharp now if you want to give any other name so let me just delete that so that we'll try and give some more i options so to get to know options i can simply use the command line and then after that i can type dash h h for help and that will give me an option what option we want to use so here are my options for example dash uh, dash f or dash dash framework i can specify the application framework type such as dotnet 6 or dotnet 7 in case my project requires to use only dotnet 6 not the latest version which is dotnet 7 you can also give a use program main which means that your console application will be created with a uh, static main class a main method with a static class so that is uh, the option which in case if you would like to use and you can create that as well here with dotnet console h help dash dash language you can specify the f sharp like i mentioned right now uh, by default it is set to c sharp but if you want to overwrite you can overwrite with these options which is dash f sharp or dash vp now this name option will give you an uh, with the help of dash n or double hash name you can specify the name of the project let's say hello world is the name of my project i want to give so let's see if it creates a console application with hello world name now you can see that as in when i have given the console application name as in hello world it under the c sharp folder which is my base folder it has created a folder name which or the application name with this folder name 
hello world and inside that it has created a c sharp project and within that project itself it has created a base class or the main class which is a pro named as in program.cs and that is where i can start writing all my code by default it has given a sample line of code console.write line and it is basically having an a string parameter under this console.write line this is our project file which has a reference of all my class library files so if i just open this project file you would see that i have a property group as in this project file then within the project uh, project file it says what kind of a project it is so output of this project is going to be executable file what is the target framework this project file is going to be uh, using so which is this case is going to use a dotnet core 7.0 implicit using is enabled which means that we can use the implicit using i'll tell you what are the using types nullable types allowed or not it says yes it is available we'll talk about these usings and nullable types later but for now this is the default setting we have received when we have created a .NET c sharp project right now we have got only these folders and then this is the line now here if you look at I have under the program.cs I have a console dot write line and then you have a double quotes string uh, as in hello world uh, it is by default given what does it mean that when I'm going to run the program this is going to print a message using the write line on my console window so let me show you how do we run this so to run it I would like to open a terminal under this particular folder to open a terminal as i mentioned earlier you can simply open the terminal using this new terminal option that will open a terminal on a root folder which is c sharp but if you want to open a terminal on a specific folder which is in this case hello world i can simply right click here on the folder location and say open integrated terminal that will open the terminal as you can see here uh, this is the third terminal we are trying to open it here I wanted to open under this hello world so i'll open it uh, or terminal hello world like this let me just clean those up if you refer to the location of my terminal it's under the hello world which is the location of the project now we have certain dotnet commands to compile our application program and to run our application program as well so to compile the application program using the dotnet you can use the dotnet build command so that will build your application using the ms build internally and it uses the dotnet framework and all whatever framework you have given the build is succeeded now if you observe carefully now i have got a bin executable folder which means that whatever output is generated as part of the build command the output is being stored inside this particular bin folder and inside the bin i have a debug and then i have a framework folder which is dotnet 7.0 and this is a compilable dll which has been created as an output of this c sharp project you can expand it from here as well if i expand bin debug c sharp and this is where i have all my output which are generated as part of this project so output is output contains hello world dll which is the name of project and this is a dll what is dll here dll is an combined package or the package output which is generated from this particular c sharp program dll is also known as an dynamic linked library it is a library output which is the output of my c sharp project as such and then to support this dll uh, as i am running this dll on the debug mod which is my default mod to run the build command it has created a pdb file so pdb file is a supportive uh, database file for this dll which contains the information or the metadata information about this particular dll on top of that as an output it has also generated an executable file uh, as the reason for generating the executable file because we are using a console based application so the output of the console based application is always going to be an executable file which is supported 
by the DLL. So DLL executable file can only be running if it has the DLL sitting under the same location as this here, right? And then it has copied the same runtime configuration where what we have it here on the OPJ folder, I guess. For example, uh, what is the framework type uh, it is supposed to run and all those things basically. Uh, and the de dependencies as well. So as of now, does not have any dependencies as such, but let's say if your project has any dependencies, then that will copy the dependency configuration as well, which we'll look into the later stage as well. Now, as my application is working fine, so what I can do is I can simply go to this folder, right click, uh, double click on this exe and I can run this console application. That's not an option. Um, that's not a big deal. Now, if you want to run this console application right here from this project folder, you can simply run it using the .NET run command. And that will run the same executable program.cs class file. As an output of the .NET run command, we have got hello world as an print of result, which is the result of this console.writeline method. Now, if, if you want to override or change some more method or change some more lines, you can change it or you can write your own custom lines as, as I'm writing like this. So if I'm going to run it, let's run again. I don't need to uh, build again because when you run the .NET run command, .NET run command built in, first of all, it compiles the line of code which you have written and then it executes the code right so dotnet run command built in contains the dotnet build command so you do not have to explicitly build it build is specifically useful when you just want to build it and package your software but you don't want to run it if you are want to run it anyways then running a build command will not make any sense uh, because by default dotnet run command will run your build command i hope it is clear now now this is running fine from console application. Let's try and look at a demonstration of running this from the folder explorer option. So I'm going to reveal this as a folder option. I'll open this as a terminal. I'll double click here on this exe. As soon as I'm clicking here, it's moving out. It's just going out. The reason for that is the program is so quick to print these two lines and after that it exits from the console. Now if you would like to wait uh, your program to, if you, if you want to wait your console to for your instruction then what you can do is you can use a different method which will wait for your instruction or your command. For example, you can use a console.read line. or you read key, you can use it. I have run the build command because I just want to build from here. And then after that, I'll open this console option and simply I'll run it here. So you can see that this time my console window is waiting for an instruction because I now first two lines are executed, which is line for hello world to print the hello world and line to print, press any key to exit. And after that, we have a third line, which is console.read key, which means that this time, the line number four is waiting for an input from a user. And then once you provide an input, which is any key, in this case, this will exit the program. Let me press enter here. As you can see that as soon as I print, uh, press enter, the console window is exited right away. So this is the simplest hello world use case. Now, if you look at a line of code, which we are using in this hello world use case, we are using a console dot write line, console dot read line. So what this console dot write line and console dot read key are. So basically in this case, dot net program or the C sharp program is using a built-in library which 
is having a class name as in console so console is a class of a built-in library and then within that console class we have number number of methods for example we have a method named as in write line which can be used to write any of the text which you want to write it on the console window similarly you have a console.read key which can be used to take an input as in key which will be read it at the console window similarly if i use this console method itself and if i press enter then i should have all my methods which are available so if i type the console class as in console dot you can see that we have number of methods available this cubic sign on this intellisense shows that it is a method such as this cubic sign right is it's a right method for console class similarly we have a right line method and this settings icon which is means that it is an attribute or a property of this console application which you can set inside the console window so if you want to differentiate or want to use any of these method you can take use of these intelligence while writing your program to identify or to make use of different options available within your class or within your methods which you may want to use it now we are talking about we are talking too much about classes methods and then other options so I, i'll give you a detail about each of these options when we will discuss about these in our next section but for now just to give you an idea from where these console dot write line and read key comes from so this is just in console class which is shown as here in the green color and then we have the method class name dot method name is because it is a static class that's why and if i just mouse over on the console class you can see that console as in class as it appears here and it is a class from the system name space so you have a system name space and then you have a console class right if you are not getting the intelligence like i am getting here right now on my visual studio so it is likely possible that you are missing one extensions on your visual studio code so code so you can simply go to extension you can search c sharp and you can install this c sharp dev kit this is extension which can be used to get the intelligence code intelligence for your application project or the c sharp project basically like i am getting it right now okay so this was the hello world application uh, to print something on your console console window and to uh, exit using the read key command